My name is Kevin Colby with KevinColby.com, and this is Behind the Live. It's a show I do every week with my good friends from Ecamm Live. It is powered by them. It is the absolute, positively best platform ever, bar none, on a Mac you can go live with. That's why we do this show, Behind the Live. And this show is really all about helping you uh, get comfortable with live streaming. So maybe you've never live streamed. Maybe you're brand new with live streaming. Maybe you've done it a little bit, but you know, and that's what this show is all about. So at any point today, if you want to pop in the comments and say, hey, how's it going? Let me know where you're from. And again, since we are multicasting this on my channel, Anycam Live's channel. Uh, why don't you subscribe to both? Let me tell you a little bit more about what I do. I love to help people like you share your gifts, make an impact in the world with live stream, with live stream, with, with online video. That includes live streaming too. And today we are talking about gear and gadgets, uh, things that you need um, to, to live stream with. I'm going to share a lot of the things that I use, including the, the the brands I use. Now, one of the questions I will get sometimes is, do I need to buy that exact same thing? And that's really up to you. I'm, I'm going to show you what I use and why I think it's good. Um, and at the end of the show, I'll make sure, uh, whichever channel you're watching it on, that I um, I drop a link into everything that we talk about. So, uh, so at any point, though, drop in and say, hey, and... If we have time and this thing is things going pretty good, um, we are going to invite you on live uh, to ask a question uh, because we can do that because this is Ecamm Live. So let's do this thing. How about it? Again, today we are talking about gear and gadget, the things that might be good to consider. Now, I am going to share at least one thing at least one thing that to me is an absolute positively no-brainer that you've really got to have. So uh, I hope that that helps you. And uh, by the way, um, there's just no way I can list everything that I think uh, you should use or consider. So if you have a tip, if you have like a, a tip about a gear or gadget or something like that, drop it down in the comments and um, Share with the community. By the way, if you've if you've watched um, any of my live streams much, um, or even some of the behind the lives, and by the way, we do this every Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time on both Ecamm's channel and my channel. But I, I've changed my layout just a little, and I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking maybe in a couple of weeks or something like that. I want to do kind of a behind the live behind the live. Not to get too meta on you, <laughs> but maybe go a little bit more into a way behind the scenes of, of my, my setup and what it looks like. Um, one of the things that I, I've, I've done this week is I, I got a second monitor. It's a small monitor. I changed the position of my camera, um, which also meant that I took my mic off the boom because I couldn't quite get the boom to work. And... One of the things that I would encourage you to do is play and try things. Um, you know, I, I'm i still dialing in the lighting a little bit here and there, um, but you can certainly, certainly change things up, and, and that's okay. I've also, just for today, added this camera right here. This is my M50, and that's one of the things we'll talk about, how I'm connecting it. And then this one is my M6. Mark II. Now, here's the difference between the two, and just a little a little side note. So right now, my M6, this one, Mark II, is connected through one of the gadgets I'm going to mention, and it is streaming in 4K. Actually, I'm completely streaming in 4K at 30 frames. But my M50 is streaming in 1080p. Now, we're up converting it. We're up converting it to uh, 4K, but I'm using just the USB cable, which is something else we'll talk about too. And the reason I went to a second camera today is just to show you can, then also so you can see a little bit more of what we're going to do. But 
let's get to this. And again, just to remind you that this is powered by Ecamm Live. Hey, and if you haven't tried Ecamm Live yet, there's a link in the description. You can try it for 14 days, absolutely, positively free. And uh, I, I think you'll like it. So let's get to some of our uh, gadgets today. Um, the first one I really want to talk to you about, well, you know, I, I, gave you, I gave you a hint. It's this. It's a cam link. Now, I'll show you here. It's, it's kind of hard to show you this um, because I'm using it. But you have, a, you have a different ways you can live stream. You can live stream with your phone. You can live stream with your phone. Um, you can live stream with a webcam. You can live stream with your FaceTime camera. And in fact, uh, one of the recent shows we did, we talked about different types of cameras. And I'll try and remember to, to link to that. And you can see the difference in each one. In fact, I think in that show, we talked about FaceTime. We talked about um, the, the uh, a webcam. And we talked about the, the, the mirrorless camera and the phone. They all have different qualities, but they all connect differently. And that's the thing to think about. So... My M6, this camera right here is an M6. It's a Canon M6 Mark II. I love Canons. I just do. Um, but there's two things that's making this work. And one of it is it has what's called a clean HDMI out. Now, if I could show you my camera, the, the, it has a flip-up screen, so I, it's actually right above it. You know, it's got the face tracking. Have you ever seen that? The box that goes around your face? Well, it's got that in there. But you, um, um, with a clean HDMI out, you don't get all that just junk on, on the screen. So, since I wanted to stream in 4K on that M6, then I ended up going with a cam link. Now, I had a different brand for a while. It was called Pingo, and Pingo is really good, and, and there's a, there's going to be a link to that down in the description. I'm going to put links to all the stuff I'm going to mention. Pingo's great. Pingo is cheaper than the Ecamm, uh, but the funny thing is, and a friend of mine pointed this out, it the one I had, the Pingo I had, was topped out at 1080p, and I wanted to be live streaming in 4K, so I went with this. Uh, this is around, hang on, I've got my uh, little notes here somewhere. This is around, uh, it's a little over 100, I think. Um, now they make one, you've got to be really careful. They make a bunch of these, and um, if you want to stream in 4K, you will need to make sure you get one that says, ready? 4K. But this is it. Now, you're going to need also, you know, when you, you get this in the box, but then you'll need a, a, an HDMI cord uh, to go from your camera to that. So, but that is something you think about. So if you're looking for a camera, I mean, obviously, let's just back up. So if you're live streaming and you are, you obviously need a camera. But again, the type camera you use is up to you. I know some people swear by Sony's. They're great. I love Canon's but you can use your iPhone, you can use your webcam, right? Uh, a microphone is great. I'm not gonna really talk about microphones that much today. We'll probably do that in another episode. Lights are really good. Let me show you the impact of lights. You ready? Watch this. See? Um, but there's a lot of other types of things that can increase your uh, live stream that can help you live stream. So again, if you're gonna invest into a camera with clean HDMI out, then you need something like a cam link or, or something like this. And it's just like a video capture card. And you can see right here with this little piece, it plugs right into a port. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, now, what's the difference between that and this? So this is my M50, and my M50 right now is connected with, I don't even know if you can see it, with this. A super long, crazy USB uh, cable. Now, it's in really important, it's really important when you're getting the connection on this, and I apologize, I can't think of the exact connection on it, and they're different. You want to make sure you get one that can transfer data. So there are 
there are USB cables like the one I use to, to power my phone, right? And I can just plug that in and I use an app called Shoot, clean camera app, and all of a sudden it can turn my iPhone into a webcam. That's great, but that doesn't work on something like this. So uh, you wanna make sure if you're using, uh, so like the Canon M50 has 4K, but in 4K you don't get uh, the facial tracking and uh, this is one of the things I don't like about the M50. Uh, it does not have clean HDMI out, but they do have uh, the, the Canon EOS uh, utility, um, a web utility that allows you to just use a USB uh, cable. But Ecamm has that too. In fact, Ecamm had that before Canon actually came out with it, where literally, I mean, I all I'm doing right now is I have this cable that I showed you and I'll, sh I'll show you this in a second in a different angle. I have this cable right here running from my Canon M50 straight into um, a USB hub. And it's that simple. So that's one of those things too. And, um, and again, remember, if, if you have any questions about anything I'm mentioning, if you have any uh, thoughts or even just a tip, drop it down in the comments and, and we'll try and get to it as long as there's time. All right, a Stream Deck. Stream Deck. Now, there's some people that might debate that say you don't need it. I'm going to tell you this. Um, one of the one of the beautiful things about Ecamm is it allows you to set scenes. So think of everything I do. Like right now, when I punch to this camera, punch is an old TV term. That's a scene I've set up. This is a scene I've set up. My name coming in is a scene I've set up. So I can set all these scenes up. Well, what happens is because I have a stream deck, I can use the stream deck to just um, hit the buttons and, and it's triggering it, if you will. And I set it all up. So you don't need a stream deck, but I'm telling you, I think it makes it so much easier. Um, and, and I'm gonna show you mine in just a second. I actually started with a six button stream deck. <laughs> and I thought, oh, pfft, that's all I need. I did one live stream and I sent that puppy back and then I got a 15 button. And for quite a while, I, I just used the, the 15 button until I was doing, um, I was adding more scenes to my show and I had more graphics and some things like that. So I eventually just updated to um, a 32 button. So. Let me let me show this, um, which actually is another piece of gear we'll get to in just a minute. But so this is the M50. I've got it, and here's the cord I've got it attached to. Remember a second ago we were talking about um, the cord. You can see it coming out. But right now I'm going to go to that. So there's the Stream Deck right there, and I'm probably blocking my mic. So watch what happens. Now I'm going to hit this button. So this button right here is my M50 and it's gonna change what you see. Hello, how are you? So if I go back to this button, it goes here. It's gotta focus, just give it a second. There we go. Actually, you know what, let me. Um, but I, and, and today is, a, is, is not a graphic heavy show, but I have right here, this is my name animation that comes in. This is uh, the Powered by Ecamm button. Now I'm gonna change one thing right here. There we go. I'm changing my, oops, I'm changing my, uh, my focus. Give me one second, guys, sorry about that. There we go. Um, this is uh, an animation that says tips. Um, and then you see some other things in here like uh, that's the M50, that's the open, where is it, right there, that's the open, and that's the close. Now, I want to show you something, I'm going to do this on the fly, um, but this will give you an idea how I use it to other than just live streaming, I mean, this is totally different, so if I go back, see, now I've got to go, i got to switch over here, because I changed my camera, where is it? There we go. If you can see, it's a little blown out. Let me uh, adjust it just a little. There you go. So now, that's how I use it when I'm just working, just 
not live streaming. So you can see everything in here from like, there's Ecamm Live, Facebook, uh, Google Docs, Restream, Notes, uh, YouTube, YouTube Studio, a lot of different things. Uh, let me go back to my camera. Um, and the reason I wanted to show you that is because a, um, a Stream Deck has so many functions. Let me switch my Stream Deck back to behind the light. Uh, a Stream Deck has so many functions beyond live streaming. So when I bought mine, I really thought, hey, I'm just going to use it for live streaming. And then I realized, dang, I use it all the time. So a Stream Deck, Stream Deck's going to run you between 100 200 bucks, depending on the one you get. I would encourage you, if you're going to get one, and you've got the money, um, think of it as an investment, to get at least the minimum 15 buttons. Uh, now, you can do things like nesting buttons and things in there, but to me, that's just a pain. I, I, want, I want it all laid out. And then, in a, in a different show, we can talk about how I even set up my stream deck. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking, I don't have to look at it as much, even though there's nothing wrong with that, to quote Seinfeld. But that's a stream deck. has a lot of a lot of usage, usage, usage usages, <laughs> something like that. All right. So here's another one that we've talked about before, and I think that this is what may have prompted the whole thing. Sorry, I had adjusted my. There we go. That looks a little better. There we go. Um, I'll show you in this one. Can you see it? So this is a. It's called a switch pod. And that's what it does right there. I'm going to go back to here. That's what it looks like right there. And then um, it gives you some stability. Now, you may say, is it just a, uh, a tripod? Yeah, it is. It is. But it's small, has a lot of different features. Now, uh, Pat Flynn and uh, Caleb, guy who works with him a lot, they actually came up with this. And if you go to the website, there'll be a link. Uh, they talk about, you know, it's a it's a, a tripod made for creators, by creators. Um, this doesn't come with it. We're going to talk about this in just a second. So when you get it, this is what you get. In fact, I'll just show you. Um, very simple to use. So this is what you get. There's the little logo. And there's even things on here like uh, holes where you can attach things like right here and stuff. But the reason something like this is really good is because you can you can set it down and it ain't it's not going to go anywhere, right? Or you can add um, something like this that we're going to talk about in just a second. SwitchPod is around uh, it's a little under 100 bucks, just barely. I think it's like 99 or something like that. They have multiple uses, but the beauty is is that it gives you some stability so you could, and, and you don't have to put a camera on it. You could put a lot, a lot of, of different things on it. So um, let me put this back on here and I'll show you. Well, here, let me show you this. So this is, this is another one of the things I was gonna show you. It's called a Mi Photo. And what this is, is this is like one of the coolest little things I, I think I have. You. It's a bracket for an iPhone or an Android, but let's go with iPhone. Um, and it has different positions, but it's metal. Can you hear it? It's metal. So this thing is made really, really well, but it's not that heavy. So one of the things I do is this will attach to any anything with like a, um, a threaded head or, or a, a thread on it like a typical thread, right? So it'll go on this, it'll go on a different one I'm gonna show you. And so right now, you can see this. Well, here be the beauty, folks. I wanna show you this. And let me uh, make sure I've got my, my phone off. There we go. And I'll just open the camera. So what you can do is you can mount it just like this. And look at that. And just like that, um, and I was messing with this earlier, that's why it's a little bit out of whack. Here, I'll turn it. So the Mi Photo right here. So I, if you think, imagine this, it, this the um, 
this is the switch pod and then the the me photo is just this bracket now you can buy cheaper brackets and that's okay but something like this then will give you the ability let's see if we can pick this up let's go to my other camera for just a second you can do this and then you can switch it to vertical even though i know i realize it's upside down but it's not going anywhere and that's that's why this is probably the coolest little feature I've got, um, and especially for something like this. Let's see if you can get this in the shot. If I go to my other one, you know, just imagine this sitting on a desk like that. That's pretty sweet. So uh, the Me Photo runs. Uh, it's under forty bucks. And here's the thing, guys. A lot of these things. Let me uh, let me just move this. A lot of these things like this you can use for uh, production too. You don't have to just use it for live streaming. I'm a big, big proponent, opponent, no proponent. <laughs> One of those words I always get mixed up. I'm a big proponent of buying things that have more than one use like that. Now, while we're talking about, and did I say, yeah, the SwitchPod is around 99, so the Mi Photo is around, I think it's, what did I say? It's, I'm looking at my notes, under 40 bucks. Um, now, I'm also a big fan of the Gorillapod. I love Gorillapod. And, and for a lot of ways, I like the Gorillapod even better than the SwitchPod because if you haven't seen one of these, check this out. You can do this. You can twist it around things. You can, um, and, and it's very sturdy. And... This also comes with this. Now you may think, well, what's the big deal? But this um, this comes together as a kit. The switch pod doesn't have this. So this is like a ball head. Why is this important? Will it focus? Come on now. There you go. Why is this important? Well, because if you put any type of camera on this, any type, a DSLR, a mirrorless, a GoPro, your iPhone or something like that, you want the ability to be able to, you know, bend it down, move it around. Maybe you want to go vertical with it. And it's also got, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, uh, it's also got a level on it right there. See the level? And the nice thing about the level, there we go, is you don't have to guess whether your level or not. I am, I think this is my second or third one. I, I was on a, on a trip once and uh, I gave one away and came home and bought another one. These run, I'm looking at my notes, run around 50 bucks. That ain't bad. And again, I have sat my cameras on top of it. Um, you could hook a mic to it. So think of the multiple uses then you could also clamp this anywhere because again it bends. So you've got this, you've got you've got the the switch pod, and keep in mind the the little Mi Photo device, uh, which is under forty bucks, would go on here. Now the uh, the ball head that comes on the Joby, there isn't one. Well, they've actually come out with one now for the switch pod, and don't tell anybody I said this, but this one is cheaper than the one for the switch pod unless they've changed that. So what you could do, and what I do sometimes is if I'm using the switch pod, because the switch pod doesn't have this on it. So think of it when you mount your camera, it that's the position it's in, right? So what I've done before is I've just taken this ball head off, popped it on the switch pod, and then, you know, it saved me some money. Can I use them both at the same time? No, that would be magic, and I ain't a magician. So uh, that's... That's one of those, one of them things about that. Um, I was also going to talk about a boom arm. So at the beginning of the show, I mentioned I've changed my layout. If you look at last week's show, you're going to see my, my positioning is different. Um, my background is a little bit more angled. And the reason I did that is because I invested into a second monitor so I could change the angle of my camera. But um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend a boom arm. Now, again, this the mic I use is, um, I'll hold it up to the M50, is this. 
Um, it's it's probably become my favorite mic, even though even though I will also recommend the uh, Audio Technica ATR twenty one hundred, uh, which looks more like a traditional handheld mic. But this Rode mic uh, came with the stand. I bought the boom separate. The reason I much much more prefer using a boom is so if like I hit the desk or something like that, you don't get that um, vibration, you don't get that sound in the mic. And it also kind of frees up some desktop. But because I changed my layout, I had to uh, I had to take it off the boom for now. But I think a boom arm is be good. Now, is be good. Boom arms can run, uh, what did I have over here? Um, this boom arm, which is a Rode PSA1 boom arm, is around 100 bucks, a little over 100. Uh, I've had a boom arm for, I think it was like 19 bucks or something like that. You can spend a lot of money. This is one of those things where it might be worth spending a little bit more because I, <laughs> I had one once that was like dirt cheap. I think it was under 20 bucks. But every time you moved it, it was like, and, you know, sorry if I just set your car alarm off or your dog, but just imagine how annoying that would be if you're trying to record audio, right? So sometimes it's good to have one. Um, I also bought one for my Blue Yeti, and I just didn't like it at all. Um... I'll give you a little tip about boom arms. You want one where you can move it and it stays. And I will say the Rode PSA 1, I don't know why they call it that, uh, boom arm for this Rode mic is the best boom arm I've I've ever had. Best boom arm. So, hey, before we keep going, let's see if we've got any uh, any other... Questions out there. We've got a couple of folks saying, yeah, they'd like to learn more about Stream Deck. Uh, Ramon, yep. I tell you what, maybe I'd do that in a future uh, live stream or even just video because they're really easy to do. They're really easy to set up your scenes. So let me know if you want to see something like that about how to set up your scenes, especially in Ecamm Live. Um, yeah, Pepper Tree Villa is saying that they use it as well. Um, wants to learn that too. Who else want to approve? Hello. Uh, saw your MacBook video. Now I'm here. Hey, man. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the, the um, yeah, uh, Pepper Tree saying that they got the sidekick for $32.95. It, it's true. Um, he's also, so Pepper Tree is asking, what are your thoughts on the Blue Yeti? Okay. Blue Yeti is a fantastic mic. An absolutely fantastic mic. And you know what? I tell you what, I don't know if we're going to get any takers on this, but this is something I mentioned to do, meant to do earlier. We're going to try something different today. Um, if you would like to join me live on the show, this isn't a contest, and ask a question about live streaming, gear, video, something like that, go to kevincolby.com slash live guest. And there's a link on there. And uh, if we have time, I'll try and have some folks on the show, but uh, that's something that I forgot I was going to mention that earlier, so um, so we can talk about that. As far as the Blue Yeti, uh, Blue Yeti is a great mic. It is a fantastic mic. It's actually I've got it back there on my uh, my bookcase of swag, um, and one of the reasons I do um, I've used it some. It's a heavy mic. It's a great sounding mic. Now, I know there's some audio folks out there that are better trained in, than me in audio, and, and they'll debate you on that. It's a great mic. The one nice thing about the Blue Yeti is there's four settings. So you can do, and I don't forget what they're all called, but if you're doing an interview, there's a setting for that. There's a group setting, and you could even do a, a wider range setting, which is not bad either. Um, when I attached my Blue Yeti to the boom arm, that's when I had an issue. Um, I just never could get it to the point where it was staying. I mean, I don't care if the mic's in frame, even though it's kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> this is in the frame right there. It's probably a thing with me. But I couldn't ever get the Blue Yeti on the, the blue um, boom to really work. But is it a good mic? Absolutely. And I know some guys out there that actually have mounted it upside down, and I tried that, and I just, I never could get it where I liked it. Plus, I have my lights here, and so sometimes it was giving me a shadow. So that is the advantage of using um, a table stand, if you will. 
for the mic. And, you know, the, the road comes with that, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, so we, so a few minutes ago I was showing you, I was showing you the, the M50. So this is actually, um, this right here is what I call a tabletop tripod. Now just, I've got it set for a certain height, but right now let me, let me just, um, crank it down, crank it down. All right. So just so you can get an idea. This is probably better, but this is, and I've got, and the legs are not fully, the legs are not fully extended, but this is, uh, this is under 40 bucks guys. And it's got some heavy oomph. And the reason I like this a lot is because it's like a tripod. It's, it's more like a tripod than, um, well than the other ones, I guess, you know, it's sturdy. Um, I think you just saw me crank it up so you can literally, there it goes. There goes the M50. Bye. Bye little M50. Um, and it's got the swivel head here. Again, is this a, is this an absolutely must have? You have to decide that. Now, right now I've got it over here cause I wanted to have my second camera so I could show you some stuff. So if like I position this right here, you can see the difference. Here's that. There's the there's the boom sticking up right there, right? So the 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 this is a ready cam is what it's called. But what happens is oops, there we go. What happens is it um it it acts more like a real tripod, but it's a tabletop. Um, it'll extend further. It's not going to go from the floor, but at one point I'm going to change my focus to face. There we go. At one point, um, this is how I was using it. Um, I had it on a, that tripod between the camera, between me and the monitor. So it is, uh, I think it's a good investment, but, but those are different options. So um, now ironically, ironically, and I, I hadn't thought about this, but here I'll show you just this quickly. So this is what right now what my M6 is on. And keep in mind, this is the M6, right? So this is the shot from my from my M50. This is called, I call it, a, it's a Manfrotto Magic Arm. It's actually, I think that's what it's called. You can see the cam link right back there. But this is how my uh, M6 is mounted, right there. So you really have to decide I think what your setup is, what your space is. I know there are some guys that have huge uh, tripods and, and stuff like that. My space isn't that big, so I've just decided to go with more things that are mounted to my desk. To a degree, the lights are not. The tripod, uh, the, the Manfrotto Magic Arm is, and that's pretty cool. Now, it's a little bit pricey, and the piece that's, that's actually the plate that my camera is on is extra. So keep that in mind. Um, dummy batteries. <laughs> now, this is, when I say dummy battery, uh, I'm, I'm not insulting somebody. Um, it's, it's also called an AC power adapter. So one of the things that to me is an absolute positively must have is a dummy battery. And so what happens is, so like for the M6, I, it, it, ha it looks just like a battery you put it, put it into the battery compartment, but it plugs into AC power. So what that means is my camera has constant power. Right now, my, uh, my M50 isn't. I just made sure it had a fresh battery. And since we've been going, the battery on that is half, is already half, down to half. Because when, you, when you're live streaming, and when the camera's constantly going, it just, it drains the battery. Now, sometimes people get this confused. Um, Canon cameras, for some bizarre reason, cannot record over 30 minutes. It's technically 29 minutes and 59, 29, 29, 59, 29 minutes and 59 seconds. I've heard it's a tax thing, I don't know why. But live streaming does, overrides that. So we've been going for what, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. And the M in fact, my, M my M50 is about to die. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We won't use that anymore. Um, and that's how quickly it drained that battery that was full when we started. That's why you want something. Now this is to a, another camera that I, I tried out and I'm not gonna keep. But basically, where is it? Here, you can, you can kind of get an idea right here of how that would just plug into a battery compartment. But the beauty is, the beauty is, is that it's powered by AC power. Now, I know from experience. So when I when I was live streaming, uh, when I and really was doing more and more of it, I thought, I don't need one of those things. I don't want to spend the money. By the way, uh, the one I'm using is, <laughs> you ready? You ready? Twenty dollars, actually under twenty dollars. That's how cheap they are. But I thought, I don't want to spend the $20. Well, what ended up happening is right in the middle of a live stream, my camera died. And usually what happens, it freezes the picture. So I had to switch to my, uh, actually at that point, I think I had to switch to my, yeah, I switched to my webcam. But a dummy battery is huge, huge to have. Huge to have. So, um, so some of the things we talked about, the stream deck. Uh, now, I've, I've heard there is a virtual version of the Stream Deck, meaning you can run it off an iPad, I don't know about an iPhone. And I know some folks that like that better. I like the physical one. I just think it's, for me, it's it's better. Uh, the Switch Pod, so the Stream Deck, uh, it'll be 100 to a little over 200, depending on which one you get. I think mine is the, is the 32 button, I think it's called the XL. It'll be a little over uh, 200. But again, I use it for other things. SwitchPod is around 99. The the GorillaPod I have is under 50. Uh, Power USB hub is under 20. Now, no two power hubs are the same. So the power hub that I'm using is made for like certain uh, EOS M Canon cameras. It wouldn't fit everything. I think I think it would fit my M50. And I was trying an M200 for a while. But you need to make sure before you buy it, just look. And they usually tell you, make sure it fits your camera. Because otherwise, it just it, it won't work. And they're very easy to use. Um, oh, we talked about the video capture devices. So like the uh, the one I have, the, the Cam Link, that's a little over 100. The Pingo is under 100, depending on which one you get. Uh, the tabletop tripod I showed you is around 40, and the Mi, the Mi Photo phone mount is under 40. Those are just some of the things. Now, again, you, you can go nuts with getting stuff, but I think it's really worth uh, investing in some of these extra things that you may want to help you. But, I mean, you could go on and on with, like, little brackets, little, uh, like, for example, the, uh, the cable I have from the Cam Link to my M6 is a, um, what would that be, a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. So when it comes out, it goes down. And, and I don't know if you noticed it a second ago, but it, it has more of a um, curled up cord that'll stretch, but it's it supposedly doesn't put as much pressure on it. So anyway, hope that made sense. But so those are some gears and gadgets that I think will help. Um, I definitely, I mean, outside, outside of like a camera, Hello. And a mic. Hello. And lights. Say it with me. Hello. These are other things that I think will ever, um, that will help. Now, uh, UB Over the Top says the Stream Deck mobile app is cool. It lets you repurpose your old phones and tablets by turning them into Stream Deck. You know, that's a good point. That is a good point, is that sometimes, and maybe a whole different show, but sometimes things that you have, like if you could pick up, thanks for making that point, if you could pick up an old iPhone, an old iPad, like I have an iPad mini, and sometimes I, I will use that, not as my teleprompter, but when when I'm, I'm shooting, I've used that with my notes. Today, because I have the second monitor, I just decided to put my notes over on the other monitor. But that is a great point. And then so what uh, you be over the top, it sounds like what they've done is that they've taken it, they're doing the virtual stream deck on that with a repurposed iPhone or iPad. That is a great tip. Thank you. Um, so my question is, what are some of the tips that you have? What are some of the things that you've come up with that you think, you know, 
This is a must have for live streaming. Once you get past the camera, once you get past the mic, once you get past the lights, what are some of these other things? You know, a few minutes ago I showed you this, uh, the, the, uh, the Manfrotto Magic Arm. Well, you know, what I like about it is you have to really, it's one of those, um, what do they call them, like a friction arm. So when you, when you turn the, the main knob, it kind of like everything is bending. So you, but it allows you a lot more flex. That's, by the way, the sign for bendy. <laughs> it allows you more flexibility and then you just crank that knob and this thing is this thing is tight now i mean it's it i'm moving it i mean i'm moving i'm trying to move it and it's hardly moving the camera whereas these other ones you know if i do this it's going to move right so um i forgot exactly i want to say that was that was over a hundred bucks but again i have it mounted to my desk and it comes with two mounts i could have drilled through the desk or I could have just screwed it on. And I'm just, I'm one of these guys, I just don't want to drill through the desk because I don't know that that may be always where I have it. So when I picked up the other monitor, I moved it around. Hey, Chris, she's saying hello. Uh, Chris W saying NDI cast from iPad for Behemoth Slides. Okay, that's a good one too. I didn't think about that. Um, you know, what I love about this is you'll, you'll find different things. Like, again, just a simple, a simple USB, now, my Canon M50 died because I don't have a dummy battery for it. Um, but this, this right here, which now I'm not using. Um, oh, you know what? I completely forgot to mention one. I forgot, I forgot to mention one. So look, so this is, now I bought this, um, an extra long one. I don't remember how long it is, but look, here we go. Ready? It's, it's that long. This is a, uh, I think it's an Amazon Basics. Um, it may not be. Anyway, uh, but this one is made, I, I think, uh, is it a USB-C? I'm not sure, somebody, somebody can tell me, but this is one that was specifically for, that would fit in my M50. That's not gonna focus. And the reason I got an extra long one is so I wasn't so tightly tethered, if that makes sense, to my computer. And it's kind of stiff. It's, it's, it's hard to tell there, but it's kind of stiff. Um, oh, but one of the ones I completely almost forgot is, you ready? A powered USB hub. Had my camera not died, I would have shown you the hub. But again, in a future show, if we do a behind the behind the live, <laughs> It could be the most confusing graphic ever then I can show you so you know on the on the iMac I'm having a, my main computer is an iMac and if you have a, a MacBook Pro like uh, or a, a laptop you have an even fewer ports right so you're gonna have to have a hub so I'm using almost every um, hub hole can I say that on my computer so what I did is I got a powered USB hub and the reason you want that is a lot of times things you're plugging into it like a webcam or a mic uh, a stream deck uh, cam link it needs power and so I used to have a USB hub and I was having issues with things would just stop working and then it finally ding dong oh I need power and so that's why I would highly recommend that the one I have is uh, it has a lightning charger on a supercharger, I think they call it on the end, and then it has four USB ports. I actually just ordered one today that has seven because I find myself running out of space. Because think of, I mean, right now I have a webcam, my mic is USB, um, I've got the cam link, which is USB, I don't even know what else, the stream deck is USB, so you can quickly run out of spots. The one I have, and it's a, I think it's called Wavelink is the name of it. Um, how much did I, it's under 20 bucks. Now the one I ordered today, I think was around 40, but it's, um, I wanted something flatter, something I could plug into the front. And, and again, you, the powered, you'll know it's powered because it has an external plug. That's the key, not powered off your computer, powered by literally plugging it in. So my USB powered hub, it does attach via USB, and it's a 3.0 to my computer, but it also plugs into the wall. That is extremely, extremely important.
So I hope these things helped you. I would love to hear from you. Even if you're watching this on replay, drop in the comments some maybe gear or gadgets that you think, you know, dude, this is a must have. You've got to have this to help your live stream and maybe even your production too. It's another way I use Ecamm Live is actually we'll turn it on sometimes just to produce stuff if I don't want to have to you know, mess with getting my big tripod out since I've got the lights and I've got the mic and it just makes it easy. So I'm so thankful for you being out there. Please, if this was a value at all to you, hit that subscribe button either on my channel or Ecamm Live's channel and share it with somebody. Drop any comments in there for future ideas, and especially if you're thinking, yeah, maybe let's look at behind the behind the live. That sounds good. Hey, I'm Kevin Colby. We do this live every week. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Have a great today. Put the needle on the record.